Hey guys, welcome back to Western Australia. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. So I'm just kind of over here at the orchard and greenhouse area, just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I feel as though I have things set to distribute. And yet, they aren't. For example, <clears throat> I don't know why these apples are not distributing here. To the fruit and ve vegetable processing plant. Um, I, I this was not turned on, but I still thought product would get distributed to it, even though maybe <clears throat> it didn't start producing. So this creates one thousand. At least I believe it does. 1,000 liter pallets. And I don't know why they're not getting distributed. <clears throat> so, okay, so we're in a, bunch of, a month of March. Um, last episode... I think it was last episode. <clears throat> we got the grass field planted. As you can see, a lot of it is like 123, 125% yield, which is awesome. Um, we got the wheat field planted over here. <clears throat> we back up at the... Um, production selling area. Um, just like ever here, actually. Let's visit that. <clears throat> Back up here. We got the vegetable and fruit processing plant installed up here. Um, But I'm not getting anything to distribute up here. And I don't know why. Um. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. Um, let's speed up time a little bit. I don't have anything else to do in the month of March here. <clears throat> let's speed up some time and see if anything distributes. Let's go up to noon. If you remember last episode, we had that fruit processing plant down here and I wasn't able to get rid of it um, although we do have this we do have a field to harvest 
Um, until I bought this sorghum field over here, and then I could actually get rid of it again. Okay, okay, so it did work. Okay, so this, I had, <clears throat> apparently I had to have this turned on for this to work. So now it should be, um, yeah, strawberries, nothing. Organic waste, I don't know what, let's just spawn that and see. what we do with that, because I don't know what we do with organic waste off the top of my head. Now, I know there are a lot of things missing. I mean, we've got to get a sugar field, a sugar cane field, or a, or a sugar beet field and get that going. Um, I actually want these to distribute now. I want to make sure I'm distributing apples, distribute, apricots, distribute, pears, distribute, maybe. Do I have a use for pears? I don't. I don't. So pears Pears could spawn. Let pears spawn. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. So that's all better. That makes me feel better. Okay, so that's working. It, they weren't distributing because that factory wasn't turned on. I thought it had to do with the fact that I screwed things up because I put, I put that original factory here and then I realized I couldn't even see the factory because I didn't, and maybe because I didn't own this piece of land, I, I might have been able to leave it here. Nonetheless, it's gone and now it's down there. So, do we own a harvester? I think we do. Do we not? Yeah, sure we do. Okay. So now we got to get back down to the old farm. And we've got to go harvest some sorghum. Can I pull... I can probably pull the header trailer with this. Oops. Sorry, building. Um, I'm going to have to bring the truck down and pick up the green trailer. So we could get, if we decided to go the route of chickens, why not? Why am I not? Why do you not pick this up? Pick it up? By that far off? Should not be. Do you not have a hitch on the back? Did I buy a... Well, it looks like a hitch. And I keep hitting the wrong button. That's interesting. Surely I have a hitch on this, right? This is our workbench. Why are you
we are. Um, yeah, I can't even... Looks like I can't even put a hitch on this. Hmm. Okie dokie. I will customize that. I just took a screenshot. <clears throat> Okay, so I tried once when I brought some of this equipment down to the farm to use follow me and that did not work well at all. So give me a minute, I will get the harvester and the header and the grain wagon all transported down to the sorghum field and then we will get back on the road, or we will get this harvest started. Like, I mean, look at this. It, it, it's literally as big as the road. Like, I can't even tell you. Okay, I'll be back. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna get all of our ducks in a row here. I called the local authorities and I have them blocking off traffic for right now because as you can see, should have my hazards on. Uh, we, we are as wide as both roads. Um, also come to find out, and I didn't scout this out very good when we bought the field, but uh, railroad tracks they are an issue uh, there is no access across the tracks into this field so we have to back up before I drop this next one. Um, we have to drive across the tracks. As you can see, here's the back part of our header trailer. Drop that there. The other one is out there by our tractor. And then hopefully um, it's not too difficult to make it across the tracks. To get this field harvested, and I don't know. Um, I don't know if there is actually. Straw, sorghum, straw on this map, but um, we are going to see how this goes. It does not look like there is. Alright, so, watch out there, Mr. Deer. I will chew you up. Yeah, so we got some tight quarters here. We'll need to get a couple head headlands in. Um, without causing too many difficulties. Be okay. Uh, 
I don't know. How close to these trees this sorghum gets to. I uh, almost feel like when we replant this field we might want to leave a spot unplanted where we can kind of stage our equipment to get started. Now we did upgrade our harvester because of the size of these fields to 120,000 liters and that does I believe match our grain bin on the uh, on the truck over there. Field is a little bit on the bouncy side, but this header seems to be doing okay. And I'm pretty sure we'll take a look when we get to the end, but um, I didn't bother doing the soil sampling because this is already fully, fully ready to harvest when we bought it, so it would not do anything to put lime or fertilizer down at this stage of it because it's ready to harvest, so I didn't bother doing that. We'll have to take care of that between crops. So this field, we get what we get. Um, probably needs plowed. Somebody went a little wide there with the planter. Yeah, but the railroad tracks, they hug this field the whole way. Um, and there is no... break in the tracks and no bridge to cross over and really no relief at all from the tracks. So... When, when we redo this field, we're probably going to plan it a little bit different and give ourselves a little bit of room if a train was coming. And honestly, I've never seen a train on this map. If a train was coming, we'd be screwed. We'd probably be running into the train. And I, you know, we're a big machine, but we, yeah, we're going to lose. If we run into a train, we're going to be on the losing end of that. No doubt about it. So. Uh, one Huntland, we're at 28,000. What are we going to get? 50,000? 50,000 with one head headland? Maybe more. Maybe more. Yeah, we should have left, uh, they, when they planted this field, they should have left this kind of space the whole way along the tracks.
We'll have no trouble getting around another round, and then we'll probably unload. Yep. not really good for the header to be hitting the railroad tracks, let me tell you that. Not good for the railroad tracks either, as far as that goes, but still. Alright, we'll get about 42,000 liters. 44,000 liters, 43,000 liters by the time I get down here, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, 43. Take that. So what are we going to do with the sorghum? Sorghum flour, maybe? Probably not a bad idea. We probably make more money selling flour if we don't use it all in the bakery than we would just selling grain. And since we own the mill, right, we might as well make flour. That's my way I think about it. I do love this big header. Need something like this out here in Western Australia. And this case harvester has no trouble handling this, which is awesome. So let me maybe throw in a little time lapse here. We'll get this sorghum field done and we'll come back and we'll see what is up next so i will be right back with you you need more time you've already spent most of mine even when your words fail you try to keep it light you be less i'm done It's about damn time you get it right I'm up on my It's a 
bit of a dance, not gonna lie, to get up to truck close enough. I could use another five feet on this pipe. So as I was, um, so that's about 100,000 liters. So as I was unloading the first time, I was kind of just looking at the field to see what we got. Now this field does not say um, needs plowing, but we're going to plow it anyways. Um, you know, and then we're gonna we're gonna clean it up. I'll probably do that off camera. Make some more room around the perimeter of the field, because that'll be a lot of messing around with painting and all that kind of crap. And then, um, yeah, then we will soil sample it, and then we will put down lime. Then I was looking at the crop rotation. Um, it had poplar, then it had sorghum. I think we're going to use this for our sugar beet field. We need sugar beets because we need sugar because we need to make stuff with sugar. So, for example, um, Apple juice does not. Apricot jam, sugar. Plum jam, sugar. Ketchup, sugar. Strawberry juice does not. Pickles, sugar. So to get these other crops, we need sugar. And then, if we choose to do cake, and we'll talk about that at some point. I need milk, I need eggs. Uh, is that chocolate? But we need sugar here as well. So, lots of sugar is going to be needed. This can take sorghum. Okay, good. So, we can put sorghum in here. That's the bakery. And the bakery. Yeah. The bakery is doing its thing. On flour. Where? Distributing. Yeah. So, that is what the plan is. So, I will do a little bit of work in between episodes, get some of the stuff squared away. Let's just go ahead and. Turn off the hazards. We'll fold this up. And I gotta find a place to gingerly get across these railroad tracks. Just hitting them at an angle. A better plan. Then straight across. be smacking our header off the ground so we're gonna need a sugar factory also up here at our factory section area um, nice that'll be there let's just oops let's just grab this hook it up the old case. See how badly I can embarrass myself getting this done. Find the old pitch point here. OK. 
Okay, good deal. Alright, so, yeah, so in between episodes also, I'll get everything transported back. And then let the local authorities know that they can actually open up the road for traffic. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's going to do it. So, I'll get soil sampling done. I'll get that field plowed. And then get some lime down on it. Somewhere in this process, I'll bring you guys back in for the next episode and then I think we're going to be moving forward and um yeah we're going to be moving forward like literally we could head to the farm right now and sleep it off till April till April see what the grass field looks like we could do that that wouldn't take too long to get down to the farm Got several trips with equipment to bring down here. Got a spare tractor up here for some reason. Oh, not several trips. Th two trips. Two more trips. Get everything back down to the farm again. And, yeah, I won't bore you with me painting around the outside of that sorghum field we just harvested. Um, we'll get that squared away, and I'll get it plowed up nice and pretty. And then we'll have to wait till springtime. And, um, to get the sugar beets in the ground. And we'll see, when we get that one harvest of sugar beets, see how far we think that's going to get us. Uh, regarding whether or not we're going to need another field of sugar beets or you know when we go to replant in the future how big of a field we choose we do not have enough fields right now we have three and that's probably not going to do it because it's just not enough for a variety of crops now like I said before we could potentially split this in two and still have two huge fields. That would give us an extra variety. We don't have to have one field this big. It's just not... I don't think we're going to have enough production need that... Um, one, two, three. Actually, we have four fields. Uh, yeah, I forgot about this. We may be putting this sorghum field may be going, or this canola field may be going into sugar beets. We'll see. Actually, we will roll into April, which is actually the fall here on Western Australia and take a look that that canola field should be ready to harvest so we're gonna need everything down here so let's go take a nap oh I turned my uh, walking speed way up because I where the heck's the house, man? The house over here? I am freaking lost in my own farm. Yeah, it's over there. That's what I thought it was. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what... Pro looks like quick. And I may talk to the bank. That's not ready yet. 
Um, oh, that's right. Canola must have just got planted. They don't harvest canola till December. Um, I think I'm going to talk to the bank and see if I can get, sorry for the fast run, but it just takes forever to get anywhere. Um, here's our grass field, it's looking good. Let's see if I can return some of this money and then go, instead of, you know, borrowing lump sum as I did, bar, go to a line of credit situation. I think they'll be pleased with what we've accomplished on the farm so far. And, um, I thought we were distributing. Distributing that is on this one. Which one is green? This one. Those are cucumbers. Wait, which Can you name these? Okay, so Spawning lettuce, spawning green peppers, distribute those. So also in between episodes, I'll have to um, have to take some of these products. Tomatoes should be distributing also. And I do not believe, I think we'll have to be selling just to let us potentially. Yeah, so we'll do that. I'll have to get some of these crops taken up to where they belong. Um, otherwise, they should be doing okay. What do we got for, uh, let's just take a walk up here like a or a sprint in other words um, see what we got going on here compost yeah we have 115,000 compost and yeah compost 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 apples have all of their compost apricots have no compost whatsoever. Spawn those items. Cancel. Change output. Spawning. These are all going to spawn do get to make them anyways, so we might as well set them all now. Because we will go along and sell these by hand. It's always fun to sell stuff and watch the money go up. Uh, you're already spawning. Should be... Strawberries should be distributing. Cucumbers. Distributing onions, distributing um, tomatoes, distributing lettuce, spawning, distributing, yep, strawberries, distributing, um, 
cucumbers, distributing, distributing. Do we need? Should we just like not do that, that, and do that? So we just do that. So we're just making everything everywhere and just say. Distributing, 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 not make it so complicated. Activate, activate, tomatoes, distributing. Tomatoes distributing, green peppers distributing, distributing. Why complicate our life? Let's activate tomatoes distributing. Let's activate green peppers distributing, distributing, distributing. And all the greenhouses are doing the same thing. You know? Okay. All right, we got more compost we can uh, put around the, the joint. So we'll get that done as well. Uh, this field potentially can maybe go... Uh, what were you? You were grass, then sunflowers. So what would you look like? Okay, grass, and then canola. Why do I keep saying sunflowers? Oh. Okay, so grass, sunflowers, canola? Grass, sunflowers. Canola. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Or was it actually go this way? Sunflowers, grass, canola. That's probably the way it goes. And then went. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Okay. All right. So we'll see what we're going to do. I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do. But it's going to, that's going to, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, we'll, I'll get that field taken care of, and then we'll kind of be rolling into springtime, I think. Because um, there's not really a whole heck of a lot left to do. The wheat is growing. The grass is growing. We need two more months on that, I think. And uh, we'll get the sorghum field taken care of. This field has to grow till spring. Uh, vegetables and stuff are squared away. They need compost moved around and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we'll check things out here next episode. We'll see where we're at and see where we're going. And, um, yeah, moving forward. So, good deal. So, thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll catch you next time right here on Western Australia. Good day, mate.